Hey guys, how are you doing? I uh, hope you all are doing well, especially in the times we live in now. So, um, yeah, if you're watching this, you're probably wondering, like, what is this? Like, you're now making videos all of a sudden? Well, I've decided to start making, like, at least start making videos for a little bit, just to see how it goes, see if it gets anywhere, and, um... Yeah, and if I like doing it, and it does go, and or if it does go somewhere, I'll keep doing it. So, um, yeah. In terms of videos, also keep a lookout on the video of my Blu-ray collection that's coming soon. That's the next video I want to do, because um, I love Blu-ray collection videos, and I've been wanting to show off mine for quite a while now. So, like, in video form. I know I posted a picture on Instagram, but, um, yeah, I wanted to show mine in video form, so, <laughs> yeah, wow, man to the video, I'm already messing up my words, but, um, I'm not making this video to give you a channel update, I'm making a video to re basically regarding the death of Chadwick Boseman and what is going to be the future for Black Panther 2 and what I think should, what Marvel should do with Black Panther 2. So, as we all know, I don't think I need to, like, say it, but, um, the other day, it was, yeah, it was last Friday, Chadwick Boseman passed away, and nobody was expecting this, almost nobody was expecting this, like, and what was even more shocking was that it turns out Chadwick Boseman had been battling colon cancer for the past four years, ever since 2016, the year he first appeared in Captain America Civil War, just really think about that. All this time when he was shooting those films we all know and love, including Black Panther and the Five Bloods, he was battling colon cancer. Just really, just really set, just really let that sink in. Like, he, instead of spending the last few years of his life just like doing nothing, just trying to get treatments or anything, he made the most out of it. Like, he made the most out of his last years. He did what he loved to do, like playing T'Challa. Uh, playing historical figures such as Fergo Marshall and Jackie Robinson. I, although I do know that the Jackie Robinson roles before he was diagnosed, but I digress. So, um, yeah, and yeah, it, it was really sad for me when I heard of his passing. I actually first heard that he passed away when a friend, of, a good friend of mine, uh, sent me a text saying, like, yo, this can't be real. And then it said, Child Buzzard passed away. And at first I was like, no, this can't be real. This cannot be real. And then I searched it up, like Chadwick Boseman, and all, many major articles were saying he passed away. And I was like, oh my god. Oh my... Jeez. And you should have seen my reaction when I found out he was battling colon cancer for the past four years. I was like, Jesus Christ. It's amazing how he was able to hide that so well, especially since he's such a high-profile actor. Or, should I say, was a high-profile actor. And, uh, yeah. I already basically say it on my Instagram many times, but, um, yeah. Such, such a sad loss. We definitely, he definitely went too soon. Um, but at least he made the most of his last years on the surf. So we can take comfort in that. At least he will never be forgotten. He will always be remembered as an actor of his generation who could have had a lot more promise, but he... who could have had a lot more promise, but at least he made the most with whatever time he had. So, um, yeah. Uh, the second thing I wanted to talk about in this video... Now, before I say anything, I'm not saying this because I don't care about Bozeman's death. Like, I obviously do. I was very saddened by his death. But, of course, the question's eventually going to come out what's going to happen with Black Panther 2. Like, obviously they don't need to start talking about this now, like, especially since we're in the middle of a pandemic right now, but, um, and because Chadwick Boseman's death was so, like, soon, it's, he's only been dead for, like, less than a week. I still cannot believe it's been a week since he's passed away. It feels like it just happened, like, yesterday or a couple days ago. But, um, yeah, I was just reading a couple of articles about what they're thinking of doing with Black Panther 2 and some suggestions. And, um, here's my thing. So, earlier today, literally right before I was shooting this video, and this is what gave me the idea to shoot this video, I was reading an article by The Hollywood Reporter that stated, I think, let me check again, 
Like, one of the suggestions is to replace Chadwick Boseman, which, in my opinion, should be the last thing they do. Like, if you want to dishonor the memory of Chadwick Boseman as Black Panther and give your studio a bad reputation, ignore the noise in the background, then, like, do not recast Black Panther. Chadwick Boseman was T'Challa. Do not recast T'Challa. If you recast... Marvel and Disney, I know you're not watching this, but if somehow you are, then do not cast T'Challa. It'll, and it seems like a lot of people agree with me. Like, they should not recast T'Challa. Definitely not. Ch Chadwick Boseman was T'Challa. You can't replace him. He's irreplaceable. And another suggestion they had... I didn't read this in the article I read, but in an article I read the other day, which I forgot the name of, honestly... <laughs> was basically that they should cancel the sequel. And um, I feel like that would not be a very popular decision, mainly because... But you're probably thinking to yourself, Chadwick Boseman's dead. I'm going to get to that. Just let me say what I wanted to say. <laughs> so, oh, God, she just lost my train of thought. So, basically, one of the suggestions is to cancel the sequel, which would probably not be the best idea, because Black Panther is such a popular Marvel film... And, of course, it was going to get a sequel based on how popular it was. So, and I think they have potential for a sequel even without Bozeman. And this is where I get to the third suggestion, I think, is what Disney should do. Is that they should still make a film that at least takes place in Wakanda, but a new headline role. And in the Hollywood Reporter article I just read, it said it suggested that Shiri should take T'Challa's place as Black Panther. And I'm like, Yes! Yes, totally yes. Like, I love... Shuri was definitely a highlight of Black Panther, and I would love to see her become Black Panther for many reasons. One, we need more female superheroes in in the media, especially in the MCU, which is, like, the most popular superhero, like, film franchise right now, obviously. Like, nothing tops the MCU, not even the DCEU. Like, no matter how well the DCEU do works, it's not going to have the legacy or the impact the MCU had. Like, I think the MCU definitely needs some more, like, female superheroes, like, female leads in the MCU, because, like, despite all the progress uh, females have made in, like, attaining rights to vote, like, equal employment and all that stuff, they are still very vastly underrepresented in many career occupations, especially the film industry. And in the MCU, we only have, like, like, what, like, three? Three main female superheroes, or four? And we have, like, 20-something guy superheroes, which is, like, yeah, that's... Female, we need more female superheroes, like... And I feel like Shuri would be a great addition. A really great replacement for Chadwick Boseman, not... I don't want to say necessarily say replace him, but she'd be a great person to take his place, I think. Sherry, in the MCU, as Black Panther. Like, maybe they can make a storyline that something happened to Black Panther that that he's not the child anymore. Of course, they have to, like, write that well. They can't just say, oh, he's just gone, because that'll just, like, be, like... That'll just be, like, wasted. Like, what was the point of him if they're just gonna, like, write him off without no explanation? Like, they should make a legitimate excuse for him to be gone... And for sure to take over as Black Panther. I think that's what they should do with Black Panther 2. Like, instead of Chadwick Boseman leading... Of course, he's gone. He can't lead now, sadly. Um, they should have uh, Shuri, who, who I forgot... That, Letitia Wright. Letitia Wright's the name of the actress. They should have Letitia Wright headline Black Panther 2. And have her character Shuri be the new Black Panther. I think that would be, like, the best possible way to still have a Black Panther 2. And to still honor the memory of Chadwick Boseman. So, um, yeah, that's basically my thoughts on this entire, like, Black Panther 2 debacle. Um, I'm, this is my first video, I'm sorry this is all unedited, and, like, a bunch of, like, awkward, like, moments where I don't know what to say or anything like that, but I hope you all enjoy it, and if you want to, for, for me to make more of these types of videos, definitely feel free to let me know, and if you have any suggestions on how I could improve this, obviously I need to edit to edit videos if I don't want them to be like over long or have moments of me where I'm not like talking or just awkwardly staring at the camera but um I will definitely do the latter as time goes on once I figure out editing and all that stuff so um yeah again despite all the flaws of this video I hope you all enjoy it 
uh, stay tuned for that Blu-ray collection video, and, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, okay, stay safe, guys. Bye.